Hello, and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today, I would like to show you how you can build your own flame detector circuit for the Arduino. Now, in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to make a standalone flame detector that used an OP amp as a comparator. And that could be used with the Arduino or any other microcontrollers, Raspberry Pis, or so on. But uh, the sensitivity wasn't the greatest in the world. But by hooking up a infrared diode or infrared transistor, whatever you prefer to call it, directly to one of the analog inputs on the Arduino board gives you a lot more sensitivity in the circuit. You get more range, you can get definitely more sensitivity out of it. Um, it just works really good this way. Now the, uh, the standalone one, it does work. Um, it just it's either high or low this you're actually reading the uh, input from it and that's anywhere from zero to uh, what was that a thousand something and you can set wherever you want it to trigger in the Arduino sketch now I've just simply got a little speaker hooked up here um, it's one of the little speakers out of the computer and I'll show you it working here Hopefully you can hear that. And I can hold the lighter up higher. Oh. You gotta remember these are directional, so you gotta be in line with it. It ain't like you can put the lighter to the side and it's gonna go off. Well, I guess I was pretty close, but if you get up a little further, it won't. <laughs> there we go. It's just out of the camera range, but it is still on. <laughs> and I've got the sensitivity actually turned up uh, quite a bit on this because I have my big camera lights and they're putting a lot of light into this. It is an infrared, but it does pick up some of your other light. So um, these work the best. The darker it is, the better it's going to work. Now, if you use this out in direct sunlight, you're probably only going to get a foot away from it. I'm inside and I'm using uh, LED uh, camera lights and they don't really put off much IR but uh, <laughs> I also got the house lights on and they put off a tiny bit that's why I had to set the threshold out now like I said I've got a speaker as the output but um, you could hook this to other things um, I actually seen a video on YouTube here where a guy had a little robot where he's using something like this and when it zeroed in onto the flame it triggered a fan to blow the candle out. Another thing, if you wanted a louder alarm, you were making an actual fire alarm out of this. This is a one of them high volume blow horn alarms for a car alarm out of a car. I salvaged this from a car alarm that was no longer being used and the, the blow horn itself still works. You could use a big power transistor or a relay with the Arduino to trigger this and uh, well, if you had a fire in your house, this is definitely going to be louder than the fire alarms that are in your house. I guarantee you this is about twice as loud as a fire alarm. All right, now to set the circuit up, um, we've only got a couple components. This is actually fairly simple. We've just got um, a couple tr or, uh, two resistors and um, the infrared diode. And we got our Arduino board. And the speaker, and like I said, you could use anything else in there. I just put the speaker in for doing this tutorial. And then I'm powering it off the wall ward. I'm using 9 volts, so I'm running to the VN. Um, if you use 5 volts directly, you can put it to the 5 volt. But make sure it does not exceed 5 volts. And just because your power supply says 5 volts, put a voltmeter on it. Because it's going to probably be closer to 7 volts. And that will fry this. You would want to then hook it to the VN. All right, well, let's go over to the computer real quick, and I'll show you this schematic on how to, to wire this up. And then uh, I'll also we'll go over the uh, Arduino sketch real quick, and it's all simple. This is a great beginner's project if you're just getting into our Arduino stuff. So, all right, well, I'll catch you over at the computer in just a moment. Okay, I've got the schematic brought up here. And as you can see, this is very simple to set up. Very simple. 
So, um, of course, we've got our Arduino board. And you don't have to just use the Nano like I was. You could use this with any of the Arduino boards. Um, pretty much any microcontroller um, that's running 5 volts, you can run this circuit. If you're running the 3.3 volt um, Arduino or microcontroller device, you're just going to have to change this resistor here and then play around with this one. 3.3 volts, this resistor is going to probably be under 100 ohms. Um, you'll just have to do the ohms law to figure that one out yourself. But Well, what we have is this um, is the infrared transistor, infrared diode. Now, this cannot handle the full 5 volts. And that's why I've got a 220 ohm resistor here. So that limits the current coming through it. Then on the output... We go to A1, where we're analog reading it, but we're also setting this up as a voltage divider because we get a lot better, more accurate readings, and we're not getting interference from all the ambient light as well. So trust me, when you hook this up, you want to set it up as a voltage divider. And um, I found for the, the uh, IR transistor I was using, around a 5.6K worked. Yours might be different. Um, when you run your serial monitor, if you're not getting the values you're quite looking for, just play around with the resistance. Um, playing around with this one, you're not going to smoke anything. It's just be careful with this one. Um, if, you know, you run too low, you could take out the, the infrared, the IR um, diode or transistor. Then, of course, we got our 5-volt power supply, and I went over that uh, just a few moments ago, so we won't get into that. And then, of course, I've just got uh, Digital Pen 2 as the output for the speaker and in the ground. And like I said, you could hook this to the output to darn near anything. Um, that's all up to you. This tutorial, I'm just showing you how to set up the infrared flame detector. All right, well, I don't see really anything else to go over on the schematic itself. And uh, if you would like a copy of this to print out, uh, just go to my website, look in the description below, uh, and you'll find a link to the website. And uh, you could print this out if you want to for putting the circuit together, or you just look at it on your computer screen as you're assembling it. And I will also have the Arduino sketch I wrote for this little tutorial on the website as well. And speaking of... The Arduino sketch. Let's just bring that in and get right into that. And as you can see, this is pretty simple as well. What I've done is I've just set up an integer and we're just calling it val, which stands for value. Avoid setup, we're doing the serial begin and I'm putting it at 9600. Now, this is for testing. After you've got your, you figured out what value you want for your trigger or whatever else, you can comment this out or delete it. The same thing with the serial print here. You can delete that as well after you figure out what your value is. And as you can see here, I'm setting the value equals analog read A1. And that's what we have the infrared transistor hooked to is analog pin 1. And um, then we're putting this delay in here. Um, if you're not doing the serial print, you could probably put this delay down to around between 10 and 50. You want a slight delay for stability, but uh, you're probably going to want it running and checking really quick. So I put it somewhere between 10 and 50, and that's going to be, that should work perfectly fine. So next what I have set up is a while loop. Now you could use an if loop to trigger something, but I just got it set with a while loop. So while the value is greater than 300, then it checks the value every time it goes through again to make sure it's still, it's still greater than 300. And then we're just doing a tone. And that's what I got here, the tone and some delays to get a two um, volume tone, or not two volume, two, two different tones tone hope that makes sense. And that's it. That's all there is to the sketch. Um, very simple to set up. And there's lots of different applications you could use this little detector with. And I know you can go on eBay or Amazon, other places, and just buy one of them flame detector boards. But they're like a dollar to $3, depending on where you get them from. 
you build your own the way I just showed you, you're talking like a quarter, 25 cents for all the components. Not counting the Arduino board, of course, because you're going to already have that because this is an Arduino project. But the components to set up the infrared transistor, you're talking about 25 cents, maybe 50, depending where you order it from. But if you're getting it on eBay, it's going to be the rock bottom cheapest, but their shipping usually takes the longest. Most of my stuff I generally order on Amazon or DX, Deals Extreme. And I'll have some links to where to get these on the website as well. And like I said, the sketch, the schematic, um, all that information will be on the website. So make sure you check that out. Well, with that, I can't think of anything else to go over. So I'm just going to say thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. Uh, I hope you found this information useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Hope to see you here again. And remember, have fun building. 